Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome on back to Cyberpunk 2077 and the Phantom Liberty DLC. We've got the president and we are headed to the Captain Caliente restaurant. Hey, made the right call not taking that fascist ass oath. Oh yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. How'd you come to that? Because with the biz done, their arm will still be far up your ass and you'll be a meat puppet. No, I was once a corpo jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Gotta hand it to you, V. Wiser than I was back in the day. That smoke me and Dogtown chose a new hope. Maybe the Veep crashed Space Force too. Curious as I am, we got an important call. V, in Dogtown, are you? Well, I've but one word of advice caution. Hands? <laughs> Sheesh. What's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart, where the real deals are done. So, we finally got to meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breached Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk again soon. Prices in Dogtown. Certified resale. What? Um, find an entrance. I don't know. Double doors. Let's go tech. Oh my god. Jeez. Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down at this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. Huh, what's this? Antique. Junkie variety. Wonder if it even works. Oh, it works. <laughs> Cause it's well hidden. A double cheeseburg while you're at it. Uh, anyone there? Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Best seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? Guessing you. You know what I mean. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. Felt the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storms, what's brewing? Don't let the sunshine fool you. 
You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty facts if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Trust in a deserter. Kinda contradictory, don't you think? If you're gonna book out of the army, you gotta be honest. Admit you made a mistake. And that, dare I say it, takes fucking guts. Desertion is bravery. Now well, the basketball looks lit, though. I ever heard it. Maybe a little. Sue me. One thing I did learn, caked in blood and mud. Oh, step back, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm more interested in the game right now. You even what was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard, and what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. Bro, don't block the game, bro. They reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled oh, in your dugout. Okay, Tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave <laughs> the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Sounds like you got some shit to work through. You gotta face your demons sometimes, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking. Oh, barrel. not the dunk. <laughs> Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Uh. Hands, what you hold? Ah, uh, Idris is here. <sighs> I see you like to know who I'm talking to. Line, mutual. You know who I am. Now, hands, show me. Got this token. Mean anything to you? I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, ah. this one. Who sent you? Rosalind. I don't know any Rosalind. And Damn. neither do you. Got a pro spy here, V. Is she safe? <laughs> I asked you a question. Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around him. Were you following? <laughs> Did you even bother to check? Dunno. Wasn't looking for a tail. Well, you get one point for being candid. Atta boy. Black Thornton Merriman in the street. Three minutes. Front seat. We better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. Don't want to be caught holding hands? Read. Slippery motherfucker. <laughs> I think we really hit it off. Sure. Bet he's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Oh, the big man's here. go apologies for the precautions I only ever rest so much sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a chum's ribs even if he is on your side it's nothing personal no hard feelings I hope no no hard feelings it's all good I had to make sure I'd have done the same is that so you're not in the biz, V. Al biz. 
<laughs> what gave me away? You got into a stranger's car. You're lucky I am who I claim to be. I combed FIA data for info about you. An arresting profile. Nomad. Back at clan. No longer extent. Now a freelance merc. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received a commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Guess I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Yeah, I feel you. I get tasked with correcting someone else's mistakes. I do my own rapping. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Abandoned building on Crest Street, eighth floor. You left her alone in Dogtown? Myers can take care of herself, not a damsel in distress. Saw her take charge. Yeah, me too. It's not a first rodeo. Survived a few assassination attempts. Real tough. But still. She is the president. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. Huh? That your Lilo gig? A bouncer? It pays the bills and nets me a little disposable. Sleeper agents aren't entitled to government pay. Not even under the table. Huh. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? I had a ciggy on a balcony this morning. Why you ask? When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out. Let's go. So this is the place. Eighth floor. Yeah. Keep away. Honestly? This is not inspiring confidence. She's capable of taking care of herself, you know. I actually had uninvited guests last night. Ejected via the garbage chute. Sometimes that's the only way out. If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. Open up, it's me. No way she would have gone quietly. Uh-oh, guns out. Is this okay. how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Roslyn, are you all right? I'm good. Glad to see you are too. <laughs> the dude is still not trustworthy. Mm. Sorry, he's still not um, comfortable. Number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Roslyn. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Here. The president, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hansen, any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. 
This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. Songbird was on board, too. So me. I had a bad feeling about this. But now... Now I see why. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. She was coordinating our escape, guiding us. Something happened mid-op. Elaborate. Like she was attacked. I don't know, hard to describe. Whatever the case, it's fucking bad news. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has my eyes told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arasaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Let me get this straight. You abandon Reed and NC, leave him for dead, and now expect him to jump right back into shit? Newsflash, Madam President. Got a hell of a debt to pay. You're right. I'm sorry, Reed. For those seven years. Is that enough? To get us a fresh start? I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. And UV, whatever bond you two have fails to explain why you're here in the first place. I don't know how much they're paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Some things are more important than Eddie's, Reed. That, we agree on. We all got our reasons. Mine's even got a name, The Relic. If I don't find so me, I'm literally a dead man. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Gotta wait and see, won't we? If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Rest easy. I can be real persuasive when I need to be. Zeal's good, but don't wreak havoc. Not too much, not yet. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Buy me a nice dinner sometime. <laughs> you do this often? Invite presidents out on dates? Often enough. Okay. Dinner it'll be. Just gotta survive till then. All right, I need to make some calls. Hey, I'm back in town. What's your status? Our special delivery all good? No delays? Shipped. First leg by sea, then by air. Civilian craft both. But it got to its destination fast and undamaged. Any developments here? My status? No real change, I suppose. Then it's time we got down to work. Gotta find our missing friend. Had another pair of eyes. Alex, former team member. She's in Dogtown, under deep cover. She'll help out. Roger that. Got an address? Longshore Stacks, a dive bar called the Moth. After sundown, yeah? Got it. 
and senses trained on any potential shadows. Dump that pile of human awful. See how he likes being alone. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, better get going. Take care. Chin up, sweet kids. Seeing sunshine round the bend. Just don't you let those bastards walk over you. What'll it be, honey buns? Surprise me. Adventurous. How special coming up. How special, eh? Hey, v, you're at the bar. Sure am. Waiting for you. I'll be there momentarily. There's, uh, one thing you should know. Hmm. Okay. What did that be? You know that op seven years back that went south? Well, Mai's left me for dead. Cover story was I sold out to Arasaka. I never told Alex. It was a cover. So, things could get tense. Couldn't mention this earlier, or sent me into a minefield. Got it. My tell is to go fuck ourselves. Something like that. I'm nearing the entrance. And there you are. Enjoy, honey bunch. Thanks. First time in here. I got that right? You new to Dogtown? Oh, hell no. I'm looking for an Alex. Like fuck you are. So, she not here? You're on the awfully short list of folks we just don't serve here. Turn the fuck around and get I have a gin and tonic. Make it a double. He's with me. <laughs> She's still gonna do it. You've got some balls. All right, my people. We gotta close up for the day. I ain't going fucking anywhere. Come on. You serious? Everyone out! Now! <laughs> yeah, she... Alex. Seven! Seven fucking years in this shithole! Cause of you, Solomon Reed! Damn. Holy. Saul ain't getting it. Maybe you will. V, the coin. Myers sent us. Got a uh -oh, mission I think dog I chose the wrong thing. With him? FYI, okay. seven years ago, this scumbag stabbed everybody in the back. No, seven years ago, I was ordered to go to ground. And you were fed a cover story. I had to take the fall. There was no other way. Expect me to believe you? Just like that? Get the fuck out of my sight, both of you. Hey, I get it. You and Reed got some mutual splaining to do, clearly. Have at it, then live out the rest of your days in this musty armpit. That's some kind of convoluted threat? No, we actually need you. But maybe you need us more. Fuck this. Need a smoke. Should be fucking ashamed, Saul.
Could get tense, he said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The hell was that? Did did she just shapeshift? Metatropic cloaking. Perks of the FIA Militech connection. Get to call dibs on their latest gen, cutting edge tech. Let me try this. Give me a minute. You're gonna talk to her. Someone's gotta, and better me than you. <sighs> Couldn't wait till I was done. Bet you'd spit and read drink given the chance. Could spit and read's drink if it'll make you feel any better. <laughs> He'd know. Old dog, but senses sharp as ever. Even spit wouldn't make it past him. <laughs> so NUSA's tossing us back into the fray, huh? New mission? Yeah, afraid so. Well, fire away. Serenade me. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. Enemy collaborators have infiltrated Dogtown. That means NUSA spies and agitators are in your midst. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything suspicious, report it. Fine, I'll wait. Oh, uh, okay. Hold up. FIA agent went missing. Reed and I are tasked for finding her. And all of a sudden, FIA remembers I exist. You know Dogtown better than any other operative in their ranks. Their ranks? So you're not FIA. Curious. <sighs> what leverage they had on you. Personal. Got my own reasons. In this line of work, you'd fucking better. Had mine, too. Ditch the Metroplex ghetto, cesspool of a life. Lo and behold, FIA is offering next-gen chrome and a purpose. Didn't think twice. Not unlike the fix I'm in. Always starts the same way. Do them a favor, they promise one in return. Sometimes even deliver. Then one day, they nail your dick to the wall. This ought mean that much to you, cause you're clearly hoping to get something out of it. Question is what? Survival. Woman we're after is offering something that could help me. Just gotta find her first. And by coincidence, Myers also wants her. Who the hell is this bimbo? Songbird. <sighs> Fuck me. Gonna take more than one sig to process that. She on that short list of peeps you don't serve here too? Never told you the whole story, did he? What story? Story of a clusterfuck op. One that led to Reed disappearing and me being holed up here for seven years. Here's the list of operatives. Reed, Songbird, and me. Haven't heard this, have you? <laughs> That's just perfect. Tell me you believe in coincidences, or fuck it, fate? Cause plug the same variables into an equation, and surprise, gonna get the same fucking result. Shit in, shit out. <sighs> well, you and that hangdog Judas are in luck. Cause I got a nasty habit of repeating the same gonk mistakes. Got conditions though. 
So what's your ask? Monaco. Wanna burn rubber along the Riviera? Drink champagne on a yacht with a fucking duchess. Want a spy's retirement? Diplomatic posting in a warm, gobsmackingly gorgeous place where fruit off the trees is sweet and demand for field work is zero. Think you can manage that? Reed'll take you to Monte Carlo himself if that's what you want. Cream. Go back inside, tell him I'm in. Gonna need more nicotine before I look at his face again. Thanks, Alex. So? Didn't tell me the whole story, Reed. That's twice now. But it's taken care of. She'll do it. In exchange for? Once a spy's retirement. Someplace nice. But if you ask me, she's itching to get closure after what went down between you two. So, heard you need someone to hold your hand, Reed. Take you on a tour of NC's asswart. I came to you because I trust you, Alex. If you say so. Fine. Songbird. Heard we got a sniffer out. Song's MIA. Probably here in Dogtown. We were linked. Comms like. Song ventured into cyberspace, then got attacked. She vanished just after. That's all we know. We need a net runner. Kind who spends all their waking hours parsing teraflops of data. Might have caught something. You have someone in mind? Wilkie Slider Laguerre. I should have figured. Went rogue a while back. But I know where that little rat nests. Slider. Care to fill me in? Renegade voodoo boy, murderer turned CI, all around piece of shit. Outside the net, he's blinder than three mice. Damaged occipital lobe. Not even a Kuroshi could mend it. So, we paying him a visit? Slider hides out in a would-be spa in Luxor Heights. Flick you exact cords in two secs. Or rendezvous there. Alex and I have some, uh, catching up to do. <laughs> right. Just, uh, don't gouge each other's eyes out. Need both of you alive and healthy. Meet with Reed near Slider's hideout. So, all those uh oh, Johnny's got something to say. See that tree there? What the? Yeah, something special about it. Fitting, isn't it? How the prettiest thing here in dogshit town is a monument to the dead. Still don't get this gawk affinity for symbols and empty gestures. You're just buttered because nobody ever lit a candle for you. Shit, maybe I am as sentimental as everyone else. When I see those two, Reed, Alex, went through something similar myself. Got a bond, two of them. Took maybe four minutes and they buried the hatchet. See it clear as day. Any shred of friendship they've got left will fizzle out. Not right now, but soon. Could have spilled the truth years ago, stayed tunes. But no, stubborn old Reed had his orders. They're soldiers. Stick together through thick and thin. Unlike you. Had a choice. Run or end up like my army chooms. 
face down in the mud. Think how many times you're willing to get burned before you stop trusting someone. There are points to all this? Replace someone with country or corp. How many times you gotta take a bullet for these motherfuckers in the name of empty promises? Chew on that when you look at those two. Infinite double jumps, compliments, Zewo. cheat happens. Yon. 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 You haven't been waiting long, I hope. Silly. Well, guess you and Alex needed a while to catch up. Hmm, yeah. All swell now, though. Let's go. Time's at a premium. They posted lookouts. Go figure. I doubt they'll play nice and just let us in. No harm in talking to them. Might let us through. look like bad news. Turn around and crawl back to the hole you came from. From I heard the accent there, lady. Need to talk to Slider. No Slider to speak of here, zombie. So kindly fuck the fuck off, eh? Got along with Brigitte. Why would this be any different? Managed to hammer shit out with Placide and Brigitte. No doubt I can manage Slider. Ah, so you're the one the city boys have been talking about. Fine, go. Just make sure you behave. Okay. Your spooky shit don't impress anyone, Slider. <laughs> Fuck me. Solomon Reed, I would be lying if I said I have missed you. And you, you put Mama Bridget under your spell. Will you be with me as well? Dunno. Don't know you yet, Slider. I am called many things. Wilkie Lager. The blind fury of the cyberspace. A dawn in the NUSA's fat ass. Take your pee. Yeah, you forgot to add double murderer and all around coward. We're here to negotiate, Slider. Cut a deal. If one party is backed into a corner, it is not negotiation, it is extortion. You say tomato, I say fucking deal with it, Slider. Now, cut the shit, and do us the courtesy of hearing us out. Need some intel. Street says you're the one to get it. Me? <laughs> I am a blind man. I see nothing, know nothing. Cyberspace is my only field of vision. Well, just so happens what we need is one who knows cyberspace. Sees lots in it. Donk, Dim, sir. What specifically do you want from me? Soon after SF-1 crashed, a runner was attacked while on the net. Attack severed our link. Need to locate her stat. Ah, so you want one to investigate net traffic on the day of the crash? Got a malfunctioning relic in my skull. That's how she made contact. That help any? Hmm, perhaps. I will need a peek at this trinket in your head. Nah, no chance, Slider. It is this or nothing. You choose. Oh, okay, so <laughs> it really wasn't a choice. I can't see. Are we waiting for eyes, someone? I am blind, not deaf. Why are these guys so impatient, bro? <laughs> Give me time to Let think about the see what option. We have here. 
I see traces, bursts of data in cyberspace, the wake of someone's passage. Mad. This I do not believe. You out of your mind coming to me with this shit. I think slide it just happened on you hanging out in my head. No, this is something else. What you see? The black wall. It bring only death. Specific slider. The woman. Did you know she used the black wall protocol to connect with you? Fuck. Explains a lot, actually. The woman? She is walking, ticking bomb. Megatons. She go boom. Everybody fucked in the ass. Every last one. Miwanwa. It is a damn that protects us, the civilized world, from the strange bets of the cyber wilderness. If your two-leg bomb crack the dam down the middle, it will unleash a flood. Wipe us off the map, just like Haiti. Rogue AIs will drown the net, and all of us with it. To the AIs, past the black wall, you are no more than a cockroach, a rabbit, a fragment of outdated code with no meaning. This why Netwatch flatline any who put integrity of black wall at risk. There's no laughing matter, my friend. It is a concern for the safety of all. That's why you, my friend, need to restore V's connection to our girl. You are out of your mind. Well, now you're part of this madness, too. Welcome to the shit show. More D. Non-negotiable, Slider. We need to find her. Besides, as long as she's out there, they catch her scent. They catch yours now, too. They'll set their wirehead freaks on to you and your people. So, you'll help me clean this up, cover all tracks, snip any threads leading back to you and consequently us. Do that. And we'll be square. You'll be off the FIA's hook, too. <sighs> Meld, it's my lucky day. Black 
Captain's hosting a huge shindig there. Crash it on the sly. I'll find you. Make sure to tell her. I have Oh, that guy died. Think. Slider might be dead. Connection severed. It's over. You shot sucked. I wonder if you could have saved him. There was a uh, second option there. Flatline because of us. Flatline, period. Plan to kill him anyway, didn't you? Hmm. Need you to come clean. Were you going to off him no matter what? Questions moot. Slide is dead. What's done is done. Hmm. That means yes. <laughs> that means yes, buddy. So, Songbird. What's up with her? Got the link back up. We spoke. She's fine, mostly. Needs our help, but she's fine in one piece. All right. Give me the deets later. Time to doubt a V. Just because we got in without dropping bodies doesn't mean that wave is goodbye. Bon yeah. Slider. Leave the voodoo boys hide out. I'm pretty sure they're going to... Well, I mean, how would they even know he's dead, right? But... This is a video game. What the hell happened here? Oh no, hostile area, right? Okay, cool. Oh, something popped off. Missed this. They got nowhere to run. Another. Let's move on. Find a quiet corner. What did Sombird tell you? She's tapped into the block wall. Didn't deny it. No big thing. Kinda. We need to find her, fast. Did she drop any coordinates? Song needs our help, Reed. Hansen's nabbed her, holding her, for reasons. God damn it. I can't imagine any worse news than that. Black Sapphire. Said Hansen's throwing a big bash there. We get in, she'll find us. Any idea what and where the Sapphire is? Over there. See the tall of the two scrapers? Next to the one with the big ass screen. That's the Black Sapphire. A would-be hotel ended up a failed multi-billion eddy investment. Hence, us fortress smack in the middle of Dogtown. We can't just barge in. Doubt we have anyone on the inside or affiliated who could crack open a door either. Alex and I will pull some strings, run our contacts. We do the same. You know, think of who you know around here. Maybe we'll happen on an idea, find a way. No local fixer. Goes by Mr. Hands. Could ring him. Do it. We'll be in touch. Hands, need a favor. Straight to biz. I like it. Amy to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil. V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to, say, Compeki Plaza. Surely there's some way in. <sighs> Very well, I'll be frank. A handwritten invitation, unachievable, but I can work something out. I'll need a favor in return, though. Reputation is a currency. Its value derives from collective faith. It fluctuates. Do you understand me? 
Yeah, I see what you're driving at. Want me to help you earn a little rep? Precisely. Complete a few gigs for me, give my reputation in Dogtown a shot in the butt cheek. The Black Sapphire plans will be yours. All right, Hans. Got yourself a deal. I'm oh so glad. I'll feed her sane. Good news. Get in. Still? Something the matter? Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. Ah, uh, lie down. Don't think this will help. Okay. Wouldn't it be easier to just move the car? Folding the seats might not cut it. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, <laughs> sure. I need your help with my fiancé, Bill, and his buddy, Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both NCPD. Both grade-A gonks, too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, it's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. So you, Bill, and Charlie are all badges with a whole precinct full of badge tombs at your back, but instead you call a merc. Dodger's not exactly a legit businessman. Can't call dispatch for this. They'll crucify us. So, Bill's your fiancé, Charlie's his partner. What else can you tell me about him? Bill. Bill's a good guy, but Charlie... He's like the big older brother that gets you into all kinds of shit. Okay, so we don't like Charlie. Look, Night City's turned all of us into who we are, but Charlie? He's a fucking magnet for trouble. Always has been. It's bad. Nothing else. It's really bad, Stella. Please get help. I love you. <laughs> Sweet of him, but not really what I was after. When I asked what happened, he said it was too complicated for a quick hollow. Why's Dodger got you all shaking at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hansen. Total psycho, too. Moved to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upsides of last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please. Who's asking, Charlie or Bill? It's Charlie. So Stella did manage to find someone. Thank fuck. Okay, let's try to get this open. Fucking slab this thing. A little help. Better step back. Damn, buddy. Jesus fucking Christ. I know. What the fuck? Don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. Hmm. What in the... This is Bill. She... 
Hi. Stella wasn't kidding. Doesn't get much more bad than this. <laughs> Could really use your help. You don't fucking say. We we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we we swear. Who's talking, bro? Let's see. Two blood-soaked dudes locked in a room with a gutted corpse. Yeah, real puzzler. Bet it'd take ages for a detective to unravel this one. Go on. Tell him about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one who Plan set up the deal with was Dodger. was rock fucking solid. If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie. How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? <laughs> oh, damn. You say drugs? Oh, you go. No, you. I swear to fucking God. Went like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of sin coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Choom swallowed seven whole ounces? That, that even possible? So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill plops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, fuck you pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could have had a food tube implant? Like a deep, wide throat? Yeah, like the one your mom's got. Fuck you even talking about, Bill. Couldn't get him to just spit it out? We tried to make a trek o tr track it tra f fuck Poke a fucking hole in his neck. No dice. Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? If the bag already broke, why bother trying to play operation? We panicked, all right? Shit happens. It's, it's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. <laughs> it's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. All right, let's get moving. One last tiny thing. Came here in our squad car and, uh, kinda need it back. Just keeps getting better. He's putting his Where legs back it? up. In the garage. To the garage we it's go. It's official, V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Oh, still Always value you. Kill me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. Know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. <laughs> 2983, I fucking told you. Dodger school. Would you look at that? A welcoming party. How thoughtful. Greetings, fellas. Oh, I'm a early. We, uh, we can explain. Quiet. You, I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh, <laughs> they look like they could use a hand, all right. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? 
Uh, yeah, well, uh, no, not us, per se. You any better at speaking full sentence? Uh, um, uh, there was a shootout. Uh, uh, a guy got hit. Uh, was, was bleeding out fast. Uh, after that, brought your stuff here. Uh, left it all upstairs, so it's all good. Another smooth talker. All right, third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? It's all true. Happened exactly as Bill said. That's unfortunate. See, I really don't like being made a fool of. Boys. Oh, boy, you're uh, fucked now! Uh, uh. Oh, well, I mean... <laughs> Rosto. It's safe to come out. Dodger ain't breathing. Is it over? Yup. Nothing left but hop in your ride, flee the scene. Sure you can manage that much. Thanks. So are we going or what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Okay. Alright, I guess first I'll objective completed. Days ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day in Dogtown, until I received word from Zeta Tech's CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scavs seem unaware of its built in GPS tracker. You'll follow their sick. Go to the scab's nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing. Not the best fight, I guess, but whatever. You gotta check it out. Shit! Move, <laughs> Man, Contagion, buddy. You're dead. Huh? <laughs> oh, I love how they just topple over. Huh? I'm gonna hit some shots now. Thank you. We didn't die. You over here. <laughs> Was that you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Think I came for you? Let me guess right back. Want me to rescue you? No, no. The prototype and its schematics, correct? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Uh huh, cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir, Zeta Tech engineer. Only survivor of the scav ambush. How'd you get caught with your pants down? Zeta Tech didn't map the route. 
It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. <laughs> Only language scavs speak is brute force. Think you forgot Dogtown ain't Night City. Noted. Now, I have a proposition. Get me out, and I help you find the tech. Yes? Sole survivor, huh? Mercy's not in the scavs, M.O. Gotta have something they want. Hmm, you could say that. What they need is my implant. And that, my friend, is priceless. Wait, wait. Tell me you planted that tech in your own damn skull. Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem, uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gonk you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech? No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of him. We can't Zeta waste time. capricious, erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planning that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech, all cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototype. Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? Here's an idea. I go in there, yank that chrome out of your skull, and hit the road. I'll tell you what I told those savages. There is no way to extract it short of a ripper dock. You yank, it's ruined. Prototype's all I need. It's condition, whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Uh, listen. I can show you where they're holding them. Fine, fine, let's get you out of here. Wonderful. I knew we'd come to an understanding. Yeah, now to crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Right, back in a nanosec. Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned oh, at Zetatek. Nearly burned here. Whew. Ah. What's your move, buddy? Do something. Right, right. Ooh, this is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Prime, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. We'll vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. It's time we were on our way. Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Uh oh, Keep it <laughs> so you know you know they're going to spot us, right? You already know they're going to spot us. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? <laughs> wow, a born engineer. Wow, we're lying about being an engineer, huh? Hey, 
As long as it stops working. Should be safe here. Ah, <sighs> I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... Uh, I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I oh, really? had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... It would be a death sentence. Shouldn't we be going? Fucking haze me, Hassan. Put my shit on the line for you. And you want to leave me out to dry? I was in a goddamn scav cage. You would have left if I told you the truth. Maybe, maybe not. But you definitely made a big mistake trying to con me. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Hmm. Doing it my way. Call him my fixer. You, sit tight and shut up. Right. Okay. He's probably gonna make a break for it. I beg you. Please don't send me back to the corp. Hands. Sitch got tangled. Rescued a Zeta Tech hostage. Sole survivor of a scav ambush. I see. This impedes your assignment. How exactly? Well, Machum here planted the prototype in his eye socket. Gonna need a ride. Inconvenient, but not disastrous. Coordinates, please. His escort back to Zeta Tech will arrive shortly. Don't send him back to Zeta Tech. I'd like you to find him a mean chrome dock, extract the tech, and let him walk. Hmm. I assume you have a kind benefactor in mind to sponsor your friend's operation. Come on, Hans. You gotta have some favor to call in. Won't cost you a damn any. True. Consider this a gesture of goodwill. A solid foundation for our mutual cooperation. I have to say, I'm intrigued, V. Is this man worth the effort? Know all too well what those Zeta pricks got in store for him. So I thought, you know what? Fuck him. Done and done. Oh, V's such a big softy. I appreciate you having my back there. Truly. UV? Nancy. Here for the schematics. Oh, no. Sh yeah, here you go. Pre. I'll take it from here. All right, that's two. Chum, it hurts like hell. I can barely stand. Guess if this is our guy. I can't up your morphine. It won't be enough for the others. We'll all rot without Anderson anyway. What you doing out here? Scabs kick you out of the clinic? What's it look like? A Sunday picnic? Fixer never said you had to evacuate the premises. Ah, you're from Hans. B, right? Thank God you're here. It looks like a woman's implant. Not adjusted to your weight. What? Like I had my pick of chrome? Nah, I just gotta tweak the load capacity. Knee joint settings first. See if that helps. Huh. Well, that we haven't tried. What do the scavs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them. Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset. Anderson locked himself in his office? Yes. It's the only spot with any security. 
Find the altar, hang a right. The stairs will take you to the basement. If the scavs hurt Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me. Alright, let's see. We got three, four. Four? Oh, uh, that can't be it. Oh, we're still hidden. No way. We're going to take her out silently. Or we're going to try. <laughs> there you go that way. I go this way. You go that way. I go this way. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Come here, you scab garbage. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. Let's talk. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here, alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You, off your ass. Where's Gaspar? Tell her what you know. Nobody gets hurt. I'm sorry. Do you work for me or the scavs? Talk for fuck's sake. Oh, what the fuck? You, Merc, help me. One shot too many, Scav. Ugh. Oh, well, she should have shot him first. <laughs> Need me for anything else? Hmm. Better clean up this mess. The patients, what's their status? With Odell out in the street waiting. Tell him it's all clear. It's time we got back to work. send a hand to remove all those scavenger remains but anderson declined something about taking a look at them first i can only assume he's in shock the funds are being transferred as we speak your job is finished hey oh hang on a sec hands remember our deal yes the black sapphire i have an entry strategy for you foolproof meet me at the heavy hearts okay be there soon <laughs> 